I'm Lady Mars, and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. Okay, so this is a little bit of a, a little bit of my my take on a movie review, and uh, the reason that I um, am doing this is because uh, at the beginning of the year, um, one of my let's call them uh, students from um, an outer court uh, watched this movie and was was quite disturbed and uh, wanted to know what was going on with witchcraft uh, at that time why why was it so evil why was it so um, sinister and uh, and I had to um, well firstly I had to just have a look at the trailer because I hadn't actually seen the movie myself but I had to kind of um, allay their fears that uh, what they saw in the movie wasn't actually a, an accurate depiction of witchcraft. Uh, witchcraft is uh, multifaceted. There's, there's light and there's dark. Uh, there's good and there's evil. There's um, people who are um, sane and people who are insane. Um, so it, it covers the, the, the gamut of, of human... Um, the human psyche and, and just in witchcraft itself. So saying that um, from a movie uh, and getting your information about witchcraft um, is, is maybe a little bit short-sighted. So there will be a few spoilers in this and uh, um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you haven't seen the movie then maybe if you if you like to watch the movie and then and then uh, I'll, I'll talk about it or you know, alternatively, you can uh, see what I have to say about it and, uh, and then um, go and watch the movie yourself. Uh, but I will be talking about the movie, so I might spoil a few uh, plot twists and turns. Uh, okay, so The Witch. I enjoyed the movie immensely. I thought it was wonderful. Now, it is classed as a horror movie. And if you are looking at the, the normal horror movies that we have these days, um, it's not that type of movie. It's not a um, was it The Conjuring. It's not, um, it's not uh, what are these other ones? Um, it's not The Human Centipede. It's not, um, you know, all of, all of the movies that we have now, which are very much... Um, gore, um, blood frights, and um, things that that uh, that are to to actually get a large amount of horror out of you, that horror energy. And uh, this movie isn't like that. It's a slow burn. Now, it should give you a little bit of information about what the movie and how the pace of the movie is going to go because it it had rave reviews in the Sundance um, cinema. Now Sundance cinema isn't mainstream cinema, it is more arty, it's more um, you know, off, off Broadway maybe, the, um, if, you, if you understand my drift. It's not mainstream. So that means it's not going to go for the stereotypical um, ticking all the boxes as to what a horror movie is about. With that said, as I said, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. Uh, its depiction of the time was really was, was spot on. It was what I thought that that um, time period would be. Now it it set in um, it set in America at the times when the Puritans came over to to settle America. So it is that time where you have very very religious uh, people coming to a new land, uh, coming to a, a almost hostile land and trying to, to eke out a living um, and trying to survive more than anything else. Now these, uh, this family in question uh, has been um, ostracised from their community because they believed that their community was not devout enough. So this gives you a bit of an idea as to how how uh, militant almost their their view of of religion was. Uh, they didn't believe that the rest of the community were were uh, good good God fearing Christians. So um, they left, built a found a, a spot, built a house, and started to to raise a crop of corn. I think it was. Now, 
as I said, is a slow burn. So you get to understand these characters. You get to to get into the psyche of these characters and you you see as the movie goes along how these characters interact with each other and how they how their fear of the unknown how their um their their militant i would call it militant um uh religion or their militant idea of religion um doesn't fit with the area doesn't fit with um with the time and everything they're frightened of everything they are um, they ask for forgiveness for the the simple fact of living um, so it, anything that's out of out of the ordinary is going to be seen as sinister and that yeah when people are frightened when people are in fear mode then they are going to look to an outside source they're going to look to an, uh, an outer um, scapegoat now, as the as the movie progresses, you have uh, one of the, the children um, goes missing. Now, um, it is um, implied that it is a witch, and you do see a, a, a scene where um, the baby has been um, is being um, groomed uh, for some flying ointment. And this is the section that uh, the uh, the person uh, in question that uh, was was quite disturbed about the movie um, was was talking about the most, and I I had to remind them that one they were watching a horror movie, so the 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 movie is designed to incite horror. Now this is going to be in more of the dark brooding kind of horror not the the uh, quick slash slash and dice horror that uh, is the mainstream but it's still there to to elicit the the horror response um and there are documents and books of of flying ointment being made by the uh the the fat um of an unbaptized child um, and so it is something that, that's documented. Whether that's actually true or not, or whether that's just a way of uh, keeping people in line by saying, baptise your children, or the witches are going to use them for flying ointment. Uh, it's, it's very hard to say. We weren't there when it was written, so we don't know if it's, it's just a ploy to get people into the church, or whether it is uh, an actual uh, real recipe or a real, real thing. Um, we do know that lots of recipes um, are written down in the vernacular uh, and uh, a lot of things like eye of newt, tongue of dog, wool of bat and, um, and, and the like are actually references to uh, herbs um, and they are um, indigenous uh, names to certain herbs. Uh, so they're not actually, you know, bat wool or a tongue of a dog or all of that sort of thing. Um, now if you are a little bit deluded then maybe you will see that as being that face value um, and and start to do some, some really really sick and twisted things um, but um, with that said the movie is to incite horror so in this case it, it was bang on the money. Uh, so we have this now we have this new dynamic where the child is gone um, we don't know what's happened to the child and uh, because the fear is um, of the unknown is involved there is the idea of that a witch well, a witch took the, uh, the, the, uh, the child and we also have the, uh, the uh, interplay between the father and, and the daughter and the daughter is now coming into her womanhood uh, she is starting to blossom and she's also uh, a woman that's, uh, that's not really in her time uh, she's not plain uh, she isn't um, she is quite willful uh, for that time uh, she has a, a, a thought and she's not really afraid to, to speak her mind um, but it's not done in a way that we we see now it is done for the time so she is starting to push her boundaries and, and uh, assert her authority and um, uh, so there is that section where she's basically uh, 
there to look after the children and almost to look after to everything while her um, while her mother is is in mourning and um, she's almost like a slave and then when it comes to the, the point where they think that she may be um, an asset then uh, there's talk of taking her away to um, to uh, for her to, to become a a, uh, um, a servant in someone else's house um, now as we go along there is the, also the element of the children the small children who uh, basically have the run of the place and, and also uh, small children uh, have uh, you know, flights of fancy there is the times when they, they actually see see the truth but again when you have um, a, a society that is fearful of everything um, also you, you think that these people aren't getting really the right nutrition so they are uh, their brain is starved they are, are probably eating uh, food that is slightly contaminated there's probably wheat or barley or, or corn that has some kind of ergot a bit of uh, fungus uh, on it and uh, which means that they are going to to see certain visions they are going to have these episodes where um, strange things do happen to them uh, simply the fact because they're stoned um, uh, but um, so all of this plays in and you and you see how the the movie progresses and again it is slow and plodding but it, it really pulls you in you've got to you got to pay attention you've got to you got to be there uh, but it really brings you into that time and it sees how a family can disintegrate and uh, through as I said again fear of the unknown fear of the unknown is one of the biggest things that make people do some really horrendous things and you see that um, played out now so I was as I was watching the movie I was thinking well if you replace the word witch with the word terrorist it wouldn't be far off the mark as to the way thing uh, way people um, react and the way people are suspicious of, of everyone there is the um, the section where the the protagonist the the uh, the the young uh, young girl she um, just to get her her um, siblings out of the way out of her hair makes up a story that yes I'm the witch I'm, I I stole the baby blah 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 just to get them and frighten them out of the out of the way but that's taken as reality and then used against her later on when something goes wrong uh, and you see the hysteria that that comes about uh, when uh, when people are again in fear so uh, for the time period it was bang on the way that they spoke again bang on it really put you into that that mindset the the way it was filmed the colors uh, it was shot really really real well, la, la, really really well and again I enjoyed it um, and I do also enjoy the fact that it was quite ambiguous at the at the end um, because all the way through is it really um, is it really these people's um, interaction with a real witch or is it actually these people who have just descended into madness and uh, it never really uh, in my mind it never really says specifically yes it was a witch or yes it, it wasn't um, and there is that uh, bit at the end where um, she finds the witches and uh, um, and makes a pact with the devil, uh, and um, and then she she comes off and she she flies. But the look on her face, it, it's there's a fine line between pleasure and pain, as they say. So you don't know if she's in ecstasy of. of of I found I found a way out. I found my people, or she is just descended into complete and utter um, madness. And this is the the face of um, of of a mad woman, um, um, someone in in total um, desperation who has has descended into um, into lunacy. And uh, it's not um, it's not it, again in my mind specifically says that it's one way or the other which I, I enjoy I thought that was really really well done 
Um, so again, it isn't the normal um, horror movie. There isn't a lot of uh, spells and witchcraft in there either. Uh, so I think it may have been a clear case of uh, some of the movie uh, movie um, barons, <laughs> movie barons, uh, marketing this movie in a way to try and get some bums on seats, but it's not actually what the movie um, was about. Um, and uh, at the end, it does say that uh, many of the, the scenes and, and ideas were taken from actual transcripts of, um, of witch trials, which I thought was really good as well. It added, added that um, sense of authenticity, which you, you saw through the whole movie. So again, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was a wonderful movie, and I do recommend you go and see it. Um, or rent it, or, or whatever it is that, um, however it is that you will see it, download it, I don't know. Uh, so I do recommend that you see it, but I do recommend that you see it with the eye of this is not a horror movie, this is not showing you about actual witchcraft, uh, and even though it's based on um, actual transcripts, it's not a historical uh, movie. It's not a documentary. It's not um, reality. It is a story based on real documents, if that makes any sense. So, um, so the takeaway here is, yes, horror movies are designed to incite horror. Don't get your information about a subject from a Hollywood movie. Uh, and um, go and see the movie. It's a wonderful exploration of, uh, of uh, the family dynamic descending into madness, uh, all through fear. So, uh, yes, watch the movie The Witch. I recommend it. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be. You can see it. I'm not sure if you can see how it glitters. So you have that and then you can just mix it around and as you're mixing all of these herbs you have the intent behind your, your magic and you're mixing them around. Now you can also add